when it arrives. Before we expect thousands of people to come through Austin Bergstrom International Airport, we're finding out many of them may be frustrated because they can't get a ride. Because this is primetime pickup season, Austin officials say it's now illegal for Uber to pick up passengers on airport property. Only Lyft is allowed. KITV's Adam Hammonds joins us live at the airport. Adam, it's technically illegal, but passengers are still being picked up. Is that right? Yeah, hey, well, just to be clear, if you do actually call for an Uber here at the, at the airport, someone can come pick you up, but that driver could be cited by the city if he comes by because, again, it is illegal. Now, this is because of contract negotiations between Uber and the airport. Apparently, around Friday at 5 p.m., Uber reached a deadline to where they did not agree to an agreement with the airport to make it so that they would pay 10% of their sales, of those drive sales in the airport, to the airport. They decided not to do that, but Lyft is, did decide to do that, did agree to that. That's why they're the driver right now. And this will continue south by southwest, but the airport says they are continuing negotiations with the airport at this time. Uh, some passengers and some drivers we spoke to earlier today say they're a little frustrated and drivers are assuming the risk right now. They do say Uber could pay them back. They don't know for sure. So they could come by here and pick it up and risk getting that citation but you know again that is a risk and we'll hear i'll show you some more from them and some passengers coming up later at six live at the airport adam hammonds kitv news adam thank you important for a lot we continue our team coverage now uber is no longer allowed at the airport here in austin but drivers are going anyway and getting cited in the process tonight kitv adam hammonds went to the trenches to talk to the drivers and the people that are trying to get uber and can't Thousands of cars come here to pick people up, but Uber is no longer allowed. So if your GPS coordinates on your phone says you're on the airport ground, you won't be able to pick up any request. Anthony Nguyen says Uber drivers who often wait at this gas station are frustrated because they could be cited if they pick someone up. I don't think they can give you a ticket. But they're still doing it. We're not going to scare We're still going to go yeah. to Because Uber said they'd compensate them. Uh, that has yet to be tested. It was just announced today. But there's still a lot of questions out there. So we and Wen talked with the airport. Not legal to pick up. Well, and, and to be clear, doing business at the airport without a permit, and that's against city code. What happened is on Friday, Uber did not agree to a deal that would give 10% of its airport sales to the airport. A contract Lyft did agree to, which is just fine for Nguyen. But I do have my Lyft stash, so I could say, you know, I'm a Lyft driver. But many passengers only use Uber. Definitely an issue for Uber is probably even for us. And this man questions whether Lyft alone could handle the oncoming crowds. Pretty inconvenient given that there's going to be, what, 100,000 people converging in Austin over the next 10 days or so. As of earlier today, the airport did issue one citation and they also had 21 warnings. And the airport says that could be a fine of up to $500 set by the municipal court. But Uber has told drivers that they will pay for that. Live at the Austin Berkshire International Airport, Adam Hammonds, KITV News. Adam, thank you. And one of the... Oh, I just got an Uber X request. Well, on Austin Bergstrom International Airport grounds, Anthony Wynn, a driver for both Uber and Lyft, gets a request to pick up an Uber passenger. That's not supposed to happen. Well, they actually put uh, a geofence lock um, on the airport, so if any driver is on the airport grounds, they won't pick up any requests for um, for pickup at the airport. That geofence went up after Uber and the airport couldn't come to an agreement. ABIA offered all transportation networking companies like Uber and Lyft the same deal. Pay it 10% of gross profits earned at the airport or hit the road. Just in time for South by Southwest, Lyft agreed to the terms. All other TNCs caught at the airport are illegal. They're doing business at the airport without a permit and that's against city code. Uber and Lyft have been operating at the airport outside of city code for a while, but security just recently started enforcing the rules. In the last week, security started uh, threatening us with uh, tickets, and I mean, at one point I was chased, uh, had a security guard jump out in front of my car and try to like stop me when I was trying to pull away. Airport officials say security can tell Lyft drivers by the pink mustache on the car's dashboard. For others, they watch for people coming repeatedly to pick up passengers and will ask for ID. 
Still, some Uber drivers skirt the rules by waiting at a gas station outside of the airport. So they are still doing it at their own risk, but Uber is, uh, says they have our back. Yeah. A game of cat and mouse between the airport and Uber, with drivers caught in the middle. So far, airport security here have issued 21 warnings and one citation to Uber drivers operating illegally here. Live at ABIA, Amber Downing, KVU News. See how that plays out. Amber, thank you. As we mentioned, South by Southwest.